Hello everyone, Dan Alsayer with Action VFX. In this After Effects quick tip, I'm going to talk about Normal Pass. Normal Map or Normal Pass is an RGB color layer meant to represent the position of pixels in 3D space. This render pass can be useful in compositing 3D rendered elements, such as use the Normal Map to help create additional lighting in the compositing stage. In this tutorial, I will be using an Action VFX asset collection from actionvfx.com to demonstrate this technique. We have several of Action VFX stock footage collections that are rendered with the scene's normal pass. The passes are embedded in the multi-layered EXR version of the download files. If you want to know which of our assets contain normal pass, you can check out the info on the product website page, or you can check out the list that we've made in the description below. Anyway, let's get started with the tutorial. So, to bring out the normal pass from the asset file, you must first use the EXR file. I'm going to use this asset from the Large Scale Smoke Blooms Volume 2 collection. And then, let's apply Extractor effect. So that way, we can extract the embedded EXR passes inside the file. And then, we are going to pick the normal pass. And now, this is what we have. Our asset now look colorful. So what's happening here is we have each pixels of our assets color-coded based on its orientation in 3D space. Each color, red, green, and blue, represent the X, Y, Z axis of the 3D space. So if we check on the individual channels, such as on the red channel here, we can see that our element is looking like it is being hit by a bright light from the right side. So this red channel represents the X axis. And then on the green channel, we can see that the light is shining from the top. So it is representing the Y axis. And then on the blue, it is representing the Z axis or front and back or the depth. Okay, so now we know what normal pass is, let's use it in a composition. So here I have this really simple composition of this large scale smoke plume. And if you look at our scene here, we can see that there is a very strong light from the top right since that's where the sun is. So I want to add that extra highlight from the sunlight. So let's use our normal map. First, let's duplicate our asset here. And then we're going to add again, extract and select the normal map. And let's solo this for a second so we can see our normal map. And then we are going to add a channel mixer. So what channel mixer does is that it basically controls the values or assignments of your RGB channels. So we can use this to reassign or swap the color channels around or change the values. So here we have this settings that says red red or red green or red blue, etc. So basically the first color name is the color that you want and the second color name is which channel you want to fill that color in. So for example, red red means we are assigning the color red on the red channel area of the layer. And then the red green means that we are assigning a red color in what is supposed to be the green channel area and so on. So to demonstrate, if we turn all of this off and I fill in the red green, you see how in the area that was supposed to be green is now occupied by red. So you can use this effects to swap around your color channel. Okay, so now here we want to have a light from the top right. That means we want to keep the normal map on the X axis and the Y axis and remove the Z axis. So what we're going to do is just basically remove the blue color, but still keep the red and the green. And we could actually reduce one of the values a bit. For example, maybe we want to reduce the green channel just a touch. You can do that, but I like it this way. And the next what we're going to do is we are going to use this as a luma mat for our color correction. But first I want to add tint so we can see clearly what our luminance look like. And then let's turn off the solo and create an adjustment layer and put it in between the normal and the asset layer. And then we're going to luma mat the adjustment layer to the normal map. And then let's get curve to the adjustment layer and let's increase the brightness. And there we go. We have added an additional lighting on our element. If you want to flip the direction of the lighting, for example, I want to flip the lighting on the X axis. What you could do is to add invert to the normal map. And then because I wanted to flip on the X axis, I'm going to flip the red channel. And there we go. We have used a normal map to create additional lighting on the element. Several assets also have additional specific lighting paths that you can use to complement the normal pass. Such as in this asset, we have RGB light pass. 
which is similar to normal but with a slightly different look and angles. And that was the tutorial. Don't forget you can purchase our asset collections right now as we are still on our Black Friday sale week. The sale will be over soon on December 3rd so you don't want to miss this out. So go on and visit our website right now at actionvfx.com. At Action VFX, we provide high quality VFX assets for your VFX needs. We have fire, explosions, energy, and many, many others. You can also sign up for our Action VFX subscription starting at the low cost of $14.99 a month. This is the most affordable way to access our library and you can cancel anytime, no contract. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comment section below what kind of tutorials that you'd like to see next. And see you next time. Bye-bye.